Hello and welcome back to another Young Inventors YouTube video. So in today's video, I am going to unbox and assemble this thermoelectric belt air refrigeration kit. So let's start this video without any further delay. Just this kit from an online store. You all too can purchase this from an online or an offline shop. So first, we get some screws and two thermal grease packet inside this and this one a gasket and this Peltier module and a safety grill and a large CPU fan a big heatsink Small heat sink with a small CPU fan. The components you get when you buy a thermoelectric belt refrigeration kit. So now it's time to assemble this one by one. Before we attach anything to the heat sinks, we have to nicely clean them thoroughly so there won't be any dust particles between the thermal grease and the Peltier module. You have to place this gasket and align it according to these holes. Now I'm pasting, I have cut a small piece from this extra and I'm going to paste it over here so the wires, so the hot heat thing will not melt the beltier wires. Time to place this beltier module but before that we should not forget to apply the thermal grease given by the company. After we paste, we have to nicely bubble the belt here. Nicely bubble it so the heat, so the thermal grease will spread along with the belt here. After you have placed the belt here, you should not take out again. And remember, the words, the letter side is the cooling side and the blank side is the heating side. So you will always have to remember that heating side should become the big heat sink. So the more you remove the heat, it becomes cool. We are to apply this thermal grease on this side and cover it with the heat sink. Again, after we have applied the thermal grease, we should not take back the heat sink. Add the screws from behind like this. to add this CPU fan over the heat dissipation side so it can remove as much as heat it can and add this safety grid.
as you can see i have at the cpu and the safety grid to the heat sink now I, in this side we have to add the small cpu fan so that from this side the cool airs spread evenly if we are making a refrigerator or a small ac so that we add the small uh, cpu fan so that the air the cool air spreads evenly on the hot side also it's the same so that heat can be removed easily now before i add the small cpu fan over here i'm going to switch on this peltier module and i'm going to show you that it's working i am using a 12 volts 5 amp power supply so this is the connections i have done over here now let's power it on as you can hear the cpu fan has started I am going to power this Peltier module on with a digital temperature meter and a stopwatch to show us how fast the temperature is dropping. Turn it on. Water droplets have appeared on the heat sink. Digital thermometer on the heat dissipation side. And the temperature is thirty-seven point two degrees Celsius, as you can see. As you can see, I have attached the both the CPU fans, and now I'm going to show all the end results. So right now, the temperature dropped till 29 degrees Celsius. That is because of the small CPU fan. When I used only this heat sink, it dropped till maximum of 12 degrees Celsius. So when I remove this heat sink and measure only the Peltier, it will drop even more. That is because I have used many layers to take the cooling out. This cooling system made for these are to make freezers, ACs, and water coolers and many more. So if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe for my channel. And stay tuned for the upcoming video because I'm going to make my next project with this Peltier. It. Thank you so much for watching.